What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Crypto FUD. Let's jump right into this one. All right, so just a quick update on Vault. Um, just wanted to basically check out what's going on today. We've had some up and downs with the whole market. Bitcoin's currently sitting at around 23500 If you've been monitoring the market today, we've been, you know, kind of taking dips. And then it's like it's every few hours we'll kind of regain those dips and it's been really just an up and down kind of market for today. You actually can make some good money in those uh, those days if you're able to like buy in, you know, and, and if five ten percent is what you're looking for for some quick moves. But regardless of that, uh, Volt, I wanted to point out. So I have still the same exact chart that were uh, from the last video from like a few days ago. Pretty much, you know, I was saying that we, I was, what it was looking like was that we were going to be taking a dip possibly. Wasn't calling for this enormous dip, but I just circled this spot right here at the 0.5 fib, which was around the, the 12 and a half mark. You know, I wasn't saying that it was necessarily going to go there, but I was saying at the end of the day, that was going to be some strong support. And we didn't even get near there. It looked like it kind of did a little fake out and it kind of just, it's been really just been consolidating at this spot right here and it found some good support somewhere around where it's at it's technically up but i would say the support somewhere around the, the low 1400 14 one right now it's at 14 six and it looks like it wants to jump up it really does i just think that everything's kind of waiting to see what we're going to do as far as the whole market with bitcoin but right now if you was to look at this honestly in my eyes from this big shoot up if you notice, you know, even though we did come down from these local highs, it found a nice spot of support. Really good support, like I said, somewhere around this 14-1 mark, and it looks like that's where it wants to stay seated. And if we can, can basically get some good movement with Bitcoin and the rest of the market, I do see this thing coming back up and retesting this FIB line right here, the 236, somewhere around the 15-16 mark. And then from there on, I think there's going to be some much resistance basically because it looks like whenever we came down, this was some good support. It'll obviously flip over to resistance, but maybe if we're on a good run, since we've already seen these numbers recently, a lot of times it'll kind of just, it'll maybe test it one good time and then the buyers will come right back in and bounce it right past there. And, you know, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to take much for us to see these uh, local highs for us to be retesting these again. The local high is technically at 19, basically not far from where we're at. I can map it out and see from basically where we're at right now up to about 19. That is a 30% jump. So, I mean, you're talking about a really good day there. But with Volt, you know, if you can see right here, anything can happen. You're, the community for Volt is very strong. A lot of buyers there, a lot of people holding bags, and a lot of people want to see this thing succeed. So, with that thrown in with the hype no doubt in my mind that you guys are going to be flying past this uh local high and definitely get into some crazy numbers but we don't know when this is going to happen yet so just got to make sure that you guys are preparing and you know again we found this spot right here for some nice nice support not giving out any financial advice but if you are looking to maybe add to your bag you know, or maybe if you're on the sidelines for this project, this could be maybe a good spot where you can maybe just jump in and start dollar cost averaging in. So even if you do, you know, don't go all in right here, but maybe dollar cost average in. If we do test this support level again, you can buy all the way down, you know, and then basically ride it back up. So, but Volt is looking good. Again, we have some solid, solid support right here at that 14.1. No need to even look at this right now. If we do maybe go up, uh, if we break this 13.8 mark, which was the bottom of this consolidation spot right here, that's when we'll maybe, we'll, we'll point out, you know, maybe looking at this next support level, which would be at the 0.5 fib, like I keep saying, around the 12 and a half mark. But right now, we're not even going to focus on that. We're actually going to be looking at what we could be hitting next. And that next spot, like I've already said before, that 16 mark is going to be your next spot of some major uh, resistance. But if we're on a crazy run, I see us flying right by there, maybe testing it one time and then maybe getting to these local highs. Other than that, nothing much has changed. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Like I say before, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel because if we do start rallying or 
if maybe we start moving down to the downside, I definitely will be coming out with some quick updates so we can prepare ourselves on what are what will be some good levels for support. And if we're rallying up, what will be some good levels for uh, base, basically what we're going to be looking at as far as highs if we break these local highs. So other than that, I thank you guys so much. Have a great night.